Hello there everybody and welcome to another third gen battle this time. We are playing Nintendo Cup. Nintendo Cup doesn't exist in Gen 3 because they started playing VGCs, double battles, but... We decided to try it out. The first gen and second gen official to um, format. Uh, best 2 out of 3. Uh, level of the 3 Pokemon can't exceed 155 and... There you go. Let's see how it's gonna go. Battle is against the Game Dreamer. And uh, we have uh, a Snorlax, a Milotic, and an Aerodactyl. Uh, Snorlax has Lum, uh, Aerodactyl has the Choice Band, and Milotic has the Leftovers. So let's get this battle started. Let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna lead with Snorlax. He's gonna lead with his Zapdos. Uh, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Um, just go for that return. Do as much damage as I can. Zapdos can be annoying, but... Snorlax is a tank. Snorlax is never um, the wrong answer for this. He tried to poison me, but luckily I don't have thick fat. I have immunity, so you just can't toxic me now. And uh, return seems to be a three hit KO, which is which is great. I need to take down Zapdos. Uh, if you saw my team, I have Milotic, weak to electric. I have Aerodactyl, which is also weak to electric. So that's not good. He went for light screen, and I'm like. I don't care. I'm just gonna keep going for returns. He goes for rest and like, okay, you're gonna try to do the, you're gonna try to play that game, but Snorlax doesn't wanna play any games because he's gonna score a crit instantly. He's not about that life. No stall, no rest, nothing. He's not in the mood. In comes Blaziken. My switch is really obvious. I was like, ah, oh, maybe he's gonna try to set up a sub or a source dance or something. I was thinking about like using counter as well, but I was like, oh, let's just go for a return. Sucks no relax, it doesn't matter, but he tried to focus punch. And that was super, super, super lucky for me. And I'm like, okay, maybe now I should go into my Lodic. But then again, I was like, okay, my Lodic is gonna be great at full HP. Plus I still have my choice banded Aerodactyl at full HP, which can do big damage. So let's just stay in. But he tried to focus punch again as I returned. So that's... That's great. At the end, he told me that his Blaziken was choice banded, so he couldn't do anything else. So in comes Latios and Snorlax. Just don't want to play this game anymore. He he won the battle on his own. Snorlax on his own. Self-destruct. Bum. Al Carrer. That's it. That's what Snorlax does. That's what Snorlax does. So game one is gonna be for me. Good game, the Game Dreamer. And uh, time to use our other Pokemon in our PC, so... Yeah, so we got the advantage here. Let's see if Dreamer can equalize. My second team, as you can see, are the legendary birds of Kanto. So Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Uh, I'm leading Zapdos because Zapdos is just a great lead in general. My level 55 is Moltres because Moltres hits like a truck. And yeah, in the first battle, my level 55 was actually Aerodactyl because you, you never go wrong with Aerodactyl. You just don't, especially in Gen 3, he got his Stab, um, stab Rock Slide, uh, Hidden Power Flying, Earthquake, all you need, all you need. Gen 3 is the Gen of Aerodactyl, where Aerodactyl became a threat. So anyways, there's the second game, he led with his Meganium, I'm like, okay, Meganium, the only thing you can do is be annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's just how it is. I'm just gonna set up a sub, he went for Light Screen. Uh, as you say, as they say, you never waste a good sub, so I'm just gonna go for the baton pass. Banned by Smogon for some reason, but we're not gonna talk about Smogon. He's gonna go for his uh, Reflect. And, uh, with Articuno, I baton passed into Articuno, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam. Um, light screen is up, but it, sh it should still do some decent amount of damage, but... Let's see if he wanna still stay in or switch out. I'm assuming he's gonna wanna switch out. Because these birds, these three legendary birds, seem to be absolutely walling this Meganium big time. From what I'm seeing from Dreamer's set as far as right now. These three birds seem to be walling this Meganium big time. Uh, he's thinking about this for a long time, so that pretty much confirms that for me. At this, mo at this moment right here. And uh, I have Ice Beam clicked. Maybe we can still score a crit. Even though this is not Gen 1. This is Gen 3. 
Freeze is less OP, but there you have it. Switches into Blastoise. He's using a lot of starters here. Uh, Ice Beam didn't do much. I'm just gonna stay and go for the Ice Beam. I don't have anything else that can touch this Blastoise. Nothing is very effective. But, yeah, he's gonna go for the Substitute. Uh, I mean, for the Surf, sorry. It's gonna break my Substitute. But that's because of the crit. I have no idea, like, if that crit mattered or not. Probably didn't, but... Anyways, he goes for Blizzard, luckily for me I didn't go back into uh, my Zapdos, and there's the light screen, the light screen is gonna go out of there. Uh, Blizzard didn't do much, so I'm gonna predict him to go for the stab right now, I'm assuming Zapdos can take it right now, because it's not super effective. Risky play by my part, but luckily for me he did go for Surf, Zapdos took it really well, his Reflect is gonna go off, but that doesn't matter because I have zero, zero physical attackers, <laughs> but that's something he doesn't know for now. I'm gonna go for the Hidden Power Grass, uh, I mean Ice, sorry. I was hoping that it was Hidden Power Grass, but apparently it was Hidden Power Ice, and it sucks. Unfortunate, I'm gonna go for Sub again, which is gonna protect me from this Meganium big time again. I'm assuming he's gonna go for the Light Screen to take my special attacks better, but I just wanted to go behind the Substitute. Uh, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Uh, we waste a screen turn and we see how much damage it does to the Meganium, it does absolutely nothing, he goes for another Reflect, again, a waste of a turn, but he still doesn't know my team, because there's no team preview, this is, these are the old gens, these are the manly gens, the manly games, where you have to not know what your opponent has, because that's, that's how the real games are, but, again, Meganium is being walled, uh, Meganium was such a good Pokemon in Gen 2, but, Starting Gen 3, it became a bit um, less good, competitively speaking, but that's about it. I went for another Thunderbolt, uh, in case he goes into Blastoise, then he goes for a Reflect, a second Reflect, and that pretty much confirms that this thing can't do anything, anything. So I'm gonna send in Moltres, behind the Substitute, he tried to go for Reflect again, I don't know if he was PP stolen or whatever. Now I'm gonna go for the Hidden Power. Predicting the uh, Blastoise, this has to be Hidden Power Grass. I'm pretty sure this is Hidden Power Grass, and it's super effective. The, the light screen is gonna wear off at this exact same turn. The Hidden Power without the light screen will be able to finish off the Blastoise. And the legendary birds are showing that they can compete. So, he, he's gonna go into his Meganium, and that makes me assume that his last Pokemon is also weak to Moltres. Moltres always doing work every time it's being used. Every time. Meganium, Alcarer. And the last Pokemon, it's gonna be his Metagross, Moltres. If I miss every single Fire Blast, maybe he has a chance. But Moltres is a manly man. Wunderbar. Metagross, that's gonna be absolutely scorched alive. And two games for me. Uh, we gotta do this again, Dreamer. Waiting for a rematch. Hope you guys enjoy this format in Gen 3, where it's supposed to not exist. And have a wonderful day, and allons-y!